What is going on guys, today we are looking at Inform Telemans. He is an 84 rated card, he's gone up a plus 3 from his normal 81. Obviously Leicester doing incredibly well at the moment, really really pushing. They were top of the table for I think an hour or two before Man City won, and then obviously Man U winning as well. A free, t a free change team, so Man U at the start, then Leicester, then City, then back to United. The title race is absolutely immense at the moment. Obviously Liverpool still need to play so they've got a chance to bump their numbers back up as well and I think the one thing you're going to find from this is a lot of informs if every single team can keep up their form the Prem is going to have some very very nice informs Tillemans is going to be one of the ones you more than likely will be seeing in red picks and to be honest I'll absolutely take an 84 Prem player um, personally I want to try and get a foot champs team together with red picks it's not gone great so far obviously everybody knows what the red picks is all about and sometimes they can be a little bit stinky but obviously there is a few lower rated cards I not necessarily would mind obviously he's only 20 to 26k depending on the console and when team of the year comes out he is practically going to be under prob probably nearly uh, discard value just with the amount of supply you're going to get with this guy but the one thing I want to know is who is your most underrated in form it doesn't have to be uh, like an 88 and, and underrated there but like say if we put a rate in between like 80 to 86 who is the most in underrated in form that you've used this year let me know down below make sure like and subscribe and let's get into the video so with uh, with Tillemans the big thing that everyone always forgets he is a four star skiller absolutely fantastic we we'll, won't take anything away from that and he is a five star weak foot that is some very nice stats straight off the bat right footed five nine medium medium i believe last year he got himself a cheeky future stars obviously he's only 23 years old so a big big career ahead of him we will have a look at the generations and just see basically where he's come from and where we can kind of predict him going he is a, a starter in the leicester lineup and has been doing well obviously i'm not a massive fan of leicester in terms if I don't watch every game so I can't give you in detail kind of like graphs stats all of this about him but definitely you you kind of know this name whenever you've heard Leicester he's normally in that midfield in this card he's playing in a CDM even though his attacking is technically better than his uh, defense very much like a Pogba situation but on a lesser scale in terms of rating at this moment in time he's got 70 pace which again you're going to be looking at a shadow with this card I think no one really will put anything other than a shadow on him um, um, in terms of foot bin, everyone's gone for the shadow. It is 75% the vote um, with oh only 8 votes. So yeah, that's not going to take much. But he's got 80 pace with a shadow. Absolutely fine. I think it's good. I, again, he's 84 rated. So realistically, are you going to be using this guy in foot champs? Or are you going to be doing a squad builder? Are you going to be doing some challenges? He's in the Belgium nationality. So obviously has links there. If you want to kind of bring in a Witzel, a Hazard, a Forgan. Um, there is plenty of players in the Belgium nationality. You could link with this card really um and it, obviously a price is not is not very expensive at all 26k is absolutely fine by me um other stats 81 shooting like i say finishing wise is not quite there but long shots definitely taking a crack with this one outside the box every so often is always going to be a nice little nice little treat for the center mids then we've got great passing i think it's, it's it's up there in my opinion 86 with obviously everything above 82 and then we've got a couple of good ones in the short and long passing being 88 and 86 we've got no strength and aggression from him but 82 stamina no jumping little head head and accuracy at 73 with the shadow attached then we have 85 86 stand and slide again with shadow with the 87 interception so that takes it to a new level the defensive awareness and head and accuracy i believe could be lower um, to then give the rating of the actual tackling stats that little bit of a boost even though with only 81 defending you think ah, that's going to be rubbish you've got to look at the in games I feel like he's not necessarily the clunkiest player in the world which is always nice on a midfielder he does make some nice turns some great passing that I've seen and he does stand up for himself he's got a good tackle on him not quite the best I've seen in a DM obviously we're looking at someone like Akante or his partner in crime road to the final and Didi Dribbling wise, agility not quite there, but like I say, he doesn't feel massively clunky. Yes, he's only 5'9", so he's going to have that little bit more of a wiggle room, the fact that he's not a massive CDM, but I would partner him with someone who is a little bit taller. For instance, like a Pogba, and I believe Ndidi is actually taller than I think he is as well. I, I may be completely wrong, but let me know Ndidi's height if we don't have a look at it before to the end of this, uh, end of this review. 
in terms of composure 86 and that's pretty much it a nice statted card well rounded couple of extra bits that i'd like to increase but obviously only 84 plenty room for improvement but let's jump into some gameplay and see what it's all about so with Tillemans, obviously in the midfield, I put him more as a kind of DM than anything. I do like him pushing forward, so you'll see me constantly moving him and Pogba, pushing up the field, really trying to attack with them. And I'll try and have one staying back and one going forward at all times. We can see the kind of assisting passing he's doing, obviously straight to Del Piero there. He tries to go for Torres, who Mandanda makes a cracking save there. Don't know why he was using Mandanda, to be fair, with the icons in his teams. But we see here, double roulette. I'm thinking you know what we're gonna we're not gonna try another one he's gonna know that one he didn't go rushing in for that reason and we kind of just see what he can do passing was like i say that's probably his best stat in terms of being there we try the audacious little shot here we was going for the finesse and i think he absolutely fumbled it but honestly in terms of him being on the ball i didn't see him necessarily lose it out of his fault maybe yes i lost the ball because sometimes you can do sometimes you kind of get a little bit greedy with the ball you maybe try too much and it just doesn't work out but obviously in terms of kind of like you can blame his ability i really didn't notice that i felt like he held on to the ball well i was against decent players we see neymar going there taking it turning him as well with a little bit of strength obviously it's not massive on that card but he does well he manages to hold the ball assists and even get a few little uh, niggles on shots himself so if we are looking at the overall, as you can see, 26 to 21k, depending on what console you're on. Obviously, these are going to be rock bottom by the end of uh, this team of the year. He's going to be packed so many times. Being an 84, and in terms of the other team of the weeks, we've got him. Ogbonna will be another one that's packed loads. Stones, to an extent, I think he'll be a little bit more just because of the English roots. He's going to be a little bit harder to pack. Obviously, Ndombele will go down massively. There's no way he'll stay at 100k. That is literally just for the fact that he didn't get a one to watch last year, so he will be expensive. But there's not really many 84s other than this guy, um, Tillemans and Ogbonna, I think, and then this guy here. But we can kind of say these two are going to drop in price like mad. Then we have got like the Ben Yedders, then we've got the Insignes, the Pogbas, who are going to be the higher rated ones that will come down as well. We already see Pogba coming down a hell of a lot. He was 660 when I did his review. Now he's coming in at 597. We can just see it happening even now. We've not had rewards, so that's going to drop them. And then as soon as Friday hits with Team of the Year announced and either out for nominees or out the whole team, goalkeepers, what have you, it's going to go absolutely mental. In terms of the stats, like I say, we go with the shadow, we've got the pace, got the defending, all round quite nice. Couple of little ones I'd like, sprint speed a little bit more, finishing as a added bonus because I feel like he's better in that centre mid rather than going more cam. Agility would be nice. Little bit more of, of these two, I'd say. That would be a really nice bonus. And then I'd definitely say more strength and aggression. Just really picking the, the weak stats because I feel like this card will benefit from being a complete all-rounder. Doesn't have to be all 90s, but as long as we get all, say, 82 plus, this card's going to be looking good. Already a four-star skiller. Already a five-star weak foot. Incredible stuff there. And in terms of traits, we've got solid player. And then the rest is computer AI. In terms of generations... Obviously, did come from the Belgium League and he managed to get a team of the season very early on. He then went to Monaco where didn't really do too much. FIFA 19, we see a little one to watch version of him. And then in FIFA 20, he managed to get himself a future star. And this year, already getting his very first or very second third in form technically his second in form gold player and his uh, third in form overall in his entire career from fifa 15 all the way to fifa 21 and he, if he's 23 he's been playing some years already and hopefully we can see more from him with leicester doing very very well i think if you're looking at this guy into a foot champs team or anything very serious i think you'd be looking at at least 88 plus for this card and i think that's going to take some while because we've got the first upgrade by a plus three the next one maybe a plus two and then it will be one 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 and it will take him a while to get there but you never know with what specials come out he may get an, a kind of non-performance base base uh, special to give him maybe a five star skills five star week foot foot birthday there is plenty of options with all the promos that are to come out but i think he's a nice card he's nothing too spectacular but a nice little club filler for me when i do eventually either pack him or put him in the club just to kind of see him there in the club but apart from that make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace